Coming up next, we present this heavyweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and George Rush St. Pierre. For a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. George St. Pierre is eight years his senior. He will have a four inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Loving. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil! <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the challenger, George Rush St. P. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Beautiful 
good leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Blocks the shot. What a body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. What a punch. Deep ball. Nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the turn? Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right in the side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, big punch land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. And now he's got the tie clutch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Big kick lands. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Oh, huge right hand. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Looking to land the leg kick now. Good punch, Lance. Leg kick. Good kicks there by GSP. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. Take a deep breath. All right, get him some water. Train. Slow that heart rate down. All right, here we go. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, 
really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Straight right hand, no good. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice straight punch. Just misses with the left hook. St. Pierre gets the double leg takedown now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. My triangle, my triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Chest to the middle. It's in there deep. There you go. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Position for the opponent now here in round two. Takedown defense holds up. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50 50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. If you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Pinpoint accuracy. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. Landed that back. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. 
Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happened. Very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it. Oh! Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, wow. Huge uppercut. That's going to leave him off. Liver kick. The lead gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looks like a landing right on that. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. And they separate. St. Pierre gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, shot to the body, connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Oh! That's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. And they separate. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, body kick attempt here is no good. St. Pierre's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Alright, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got a bad! Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. He somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Lee's back in side control here. 
30 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice job to reverse the oh, Pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. And now he's got that tight punch. Waning seconds here of round number three. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, so there's the end of the round as we showed you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Just unable to quite find that reach. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. St. Pierre gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. By oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Exchange in the pocket. Big knee to the body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice leg kick. Nice. Big body kick. Single collar tie now. The knee is blocked there. Nice defense by GSP. Body with that body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Straight punch lands. Nice body kick there. Just missed with the straight left hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. St. Pierre's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Hard shots landing on both sides here. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard job. That's not a feel of that. That's one that's really knocking the head back. That's a big strike right there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Can't take many of those, better check. He loaded up on that right there, too. Oh, Carlo Ty. Boy, Ty Plum. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top.
kick checked by Lee. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Powerful leg kick lands. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice body kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh! GSP gets back up again. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 20 seconds. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Bing has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 41 seconds of round number 4. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with a 